Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to Dixie Bell's main page. I am Krista from Litter to Glitter, coming to you from Garland, Texas. And I am so excited to be here with you tonight. As you can see, I'm sitting on my, my project. I actually have this really unique chair that came in. It was hand-built, and we are doing a Wonderland theme in it. And so tonight, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be laying down our base blend. And for those people who like to blend or are trying to learn how to blend, the best way that I like to do it is I like to put down a base blend first and then go back and really do my blending. So right tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to start off and the base color of this is aubergine. And then we're going to be blending in some farmhouse green and we're going to be doing some honky tonk red and we're also going to be doing some lucky lavender so i am going to get off my tuckus get on the floor and we are going to start blending if you're a dixie bell retailer please put in your information in the comments i see that let's see here regina is on from missouri and amber hey amber and uh let's see jeanette's on from washington state tammy's on hey dixie bell so, like I said, we're just going to be doing a base blend tonight, and um, which is kind of good because it's going to sit for a week. Uh, if you watched two weeks ago, I told y'all that I am actually hopping a flight out of Dallas tomorrow, and I am going to Georgia to be with a bunch of retailers in Georgia. And so we are going to have ourselves a grand old time in Georgia, and I board a plane in like uh, eight hours. So, um, yay! So isn't this chair funky? I mean, this is just an absolutely funky chair that was hand built, not by us. We didn't build it. Just being honest, we didn't build it. Um, I'm gonna make sure that my comments on my tablet are pulled up. There we go. Look at this thing. And so I have over here is these pieces actually go here for the arms but I took them out so I can, you know, get in there in, in the little sides to paint and everything. So once I'm done, I will put these in and I will blend on here. But for tonight, we're going to be focusing on the seat itself and possibly down the front legs. So let me put these back off to the side. And so this is going to be, well, like I said, a Wonderland themed chair for a little girl's room and I cannot wait. Hey, Jesse, going to Georgia, I'm jelly, but we'll catch you with a ladybug. Yes, ma'am. Kathy's on from Central Florida. So I don't know if you guys have heard about the best dang brush, but if you've ever watched any of my lives, usually the mini, the mini angle is my go-to. I absolutely love my mini and my mini angle and I, use them for just about everything and I usually use them for blending and then Dixie Bell came out with the best dang brush now this brush is a combination of synthetic and natural fibers and I don't know I when it first came out I was like eh, how's that gonna work and then I got it in my little hands and I used it and oh my god this is my go-to brush now for blending I don't know what it is about the combination of the synthetic and the natural bristles in this brush but for blending this thing is amazing so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually using minis tonight but it's just gonna be to dunk my paint on go figure so with blending one of the things that you want to do is definitely make sure you have your mister bottle and to wipe off excess off your brush in between colors or if something's just not going the way you want it you, what you want to do is you want to take a rag and just get the excess paint off your brush and you can mist your brush and then wipe it down some more to get that paint off and then you're good to go again. So I've got a whole stack, I kid you not, stack of rags here because it's one of those things worth every penny of having that stuff stacked up. So let's see here, let me get this so you guys can see better. 
So uh, Colleen said she bought one and used it the other day and it's awesome for blending. Yes, ma'am. I love this thing for blending. I didn't think when I first heard about it that, you know, it would be much of a difference, but oh my God, it is such huge, huge difference for blending. And so um, I'm going to be doing a lot to this chair. This is one of those projects that's going to have a whole lot of moving parts on it. And the base blend is just the first um, part of this. I'm going to be using a whole bunch of products and a whole bunch of different techniques on this. And once I'm done, it's, I think it's going to be babu. So, and then I'm going to use another mini. And I think I'm going to start off with the farmhouse green. I've been kind of dying today. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little, a dab of the paint on here. And I'm just going to kind of dab it in my area that I want it. Water. Water with blending is the absolute key to blending. Um, you don't want your brush sopping wet. You want it misted. And if you see, I sprayed it and then I did this just to get it so I don't have droplets. And then with this one, usually on a flat brush with my mini, I would go back and forth with this one. You can almost pat it. So let me show you what I mean by that. See here, actually, I'm going to move my camera to a different angle. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that you guys couldn't see that well when I moved in. Like I said before, y'all can't see what I'm doing. There's no sense in being on video, right? So watch this. I'm just going to, and just in small circles and pat it around to get those two colors mixed in. And that is farmhouse green and aubergine. Who would have ever thought that farmhouse green and aubergine would make this beautiful, beautiful pattern and color mixture? It just lightens it up. And then as you work and you work outwards, just dabbing and tapping, dabbing and tapping. Yep. Yep. This is a chair. Um, it is going to be Alice in Wonderland themed. They want more of a uh, Cheshire cat and the caterpillar. And so that's what we're doing on this. And I am just moving in small little circles, padding and going around and out. So that is, like I said, that is uh, farmhouse green and aubergine. Can you believe it? So let's see here. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Bill. JJ Bean Design. Cheryl Toki's on. Jesse's on. Uh, Repurposeful's on. Hey, I'm going to go just real quick. I am going to be staying with Christina from Repurposeful in Atlanta. And next Saturday night, we're actually having a meet and greet. You can go over to my page. My link's up in the description or Christina's page to get all the information. It's open to anyone. There's no fee. Uh, we're going to be at a, a restaurant. And so just come on by and see us. We're doing giveaways and all sorts of stuff. So there you go. There's my PSA for today. So let's, let me grab this brush and we're going to put in some honky tonk red. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the aubergine around. And then again, I'm going to mist it. So Connie's in Waco. I'm just north of you. Thank you, Susan. I'm glad you like the the uh, the tips that I'm giving you. Like I said, now watch this one. Into that farmhouse green area. And when I get to that farmhouse green area, I'm just working that as well. Now, if you keep your paint misted, that is what is going to allow you to manipulate and move that paint and get those two paints to intermix is the water. Water is definitely the key when it comes 
to blending. I had somebody ask me one time, what's your secret? Water. It's water. Since Dixie Belle paint is water based, it for blending, it is so easy to blend with in these little areas. Now I'm going to go and I'm just going to add a touch because I want to see, honestly, I want to see what color it's going to make. I'm going to add a little bit of farmhouse green right in that middle. And what did I tell you guys? I'm going to take this. I'm going to mist my brush. Mist it. Just give it a really good, good douse there. And then I'm going to take my little rag here and I'm going to clean off my brush. So that way I know I don't have excess in there. And then I'm going to just not a huge, just a, just a little one. And then I am going to put more farmhouse green in the middle. This is aubergine with farmhouse green. This is aubergine with um, honky tonk red. And I went back in and put some farmhouse right there because I'm going to pull that red in with it and do some more. Oh, that's given a beautiful lavender color. Who would have thought putting farmhouse green, honky tonk red and arbergine would give that beautiful lavender color. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is a beautiful color. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more of my arbergine and I'm going to roll it down here. Make sure it's damp. Don't want it to dry on me. And then I am going to spritz this up just a little bit. Lighten it up. I'm going to add some Lucky Lavender in to that aubergine. And I'm tapping it across because as you see, I've kept all this wet. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to wipe out my rag again, wipe out my brush. Let me get a new rag so you can see what I mean by I'm wiping it completely down is this is the same brush I was using before, but as you can see, it's very, very light what's coming off there. And that is perfect. I just want to make sure that I don't have like a hunk of honky tonk or another color. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just slightly blend these in together, tapping. It's one thing I, I don't know the science of it, but I know it works. And that's a little bit too light on this side. So what, if it's a little bit lighter than you want, you just add, go back and add a touch of your other color, your darker color, in this case, the aubergine and you tap it in and it'll darken it right back up. And then I am going to start pulling these colors in together and just by tapping up and down, up and down, I'm going to blend these in together. Now I know that I'm not worried about this area here around because I know that there is going to be some embellishments in that area. That's why I'm not working my blend into that area. And if you want to, you can always blend in circles with this brush as well. It's great for that. But for this, the look that I'm going for, I'm just kind of patting. You know, the way that this is going, I don't know if I'm going to need to do a top blend on top of this because this is turning out beautifully. Now I want to pull some more of that honky tonk area. So I'm wiping my brush out again. Again, I don't want to, I just want to make sure that I don't have a ton of other paint colors in there because I want to pull from that red area, that honky tonk red area.
And again, mist. If you notice I'm misting a lot just because I want to keep that area nice. Not sopping wet, but just damp. All right. So there you go. Good clean brush again. And I'm going to work from the red and try to, I'm going to add just a drop of the honky tonk to get more of a red in that area. And see how since it's still wet, it's very, very pliable still and easy to manipulate in all that color. And I want to bring that down. So I will get to your comments in just a second. One of the things about blending is that it's one of those that if it dries on you, you're stuck. And if you don't like it, you got to re-blend the whole thing. So, no, you don't have to blend the whole thing, but you got to blend it until you like it. And I'm liking the way that this is going. But if you've got any questions about any products, not just blending, if you've got questions about silk, about top coats, uh, um, project that you're working on, need a little bit of advice, anything like that, pop it into the questions and I will get to it very, very soon. Ooh. So what do y'all think of that blend so far? Amber says she loves it. Is Yes, I'm doing... Um, so I've, so far I have used, put down a base of aubergine. In this area, I used um, honky tonk green. In this area, I used honky tonk green. Listen to me, farmhouse green. Over here was honky tonk red. And over here was lucky lavender. Guys, I'm sorry. I think my brain is already in Atlanta. I do. I, I, I honestly think my brain is already in Atlanta. So... Sorry. So let's see here. Hello from Rhode Island. Looks like you're making a night sky so far. It's very beautiful. Thank you, Cindy. Dana Perry Ridge is on. Billy is on from North Carolina. See her. Hello from St. Louis. I can't blend to save my life. So I'm so happy to see this. Amy, did you just get on or did were you here from the beginning of the video? Because I can always go back and show you. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to do a little bit on the, uh, let me get my camera turned around and on the legs, if I can get you guys there and we will work a little bit on the legs, get you guys down and I will go over some of the basic blending. So as I was saying before, basic blend, what you want to do is definitely, definitely water is your friend. Water, 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 water is your friend. And so the best stain brush, um, I said at, at the beginning of this video, I was always, the Dixie Bell Mini is my go-to. I use it for everything, including blending, until this brush came out. Um, the best stain brush, it is a combination of natural and synthetic fibers in this brush. And uh, it is absolutely amazing for blending. And I mean, it's absolutely amazing for blending. Uh, I didn't realize, again, I was skeptical when it first came out because I am a mini snob. I love my mini. And I used it and I said, okay, let me see what the fuss is all about and fell in love. So when I blend, it is definitely my best dang brush. So what we're going to do is on this, we are going to lay down some aubergine on this leg and I really like the way the farmhouse green believe it or not you, you're if you're just tuning in you're gonna think I'm crazy well you'd be right but you're gonna say there's no way until you see it the farmhouse green and aubergine make an absolutely gorgeous color watch this so I am going to get some, this is farmhouse green and I am going to tap it in here. Okay. Kind of like, uh, no, watch. So I'm going to miss my brush and I'm going to miss this.
and I am just tapping in a circle. And at first, it just kind of looks like a cloud. But as you blend it out more, it makes this gorgeous, gorgeous color. Never would have thought that that would be the color you get from Farmhouse Green and Aubergine, but it is. Can you believe it? Now, watch when you add, I'm going to put just one little drop. I mean, teeny tiny, right there is a drop. Everything else is kind of dry from where I did it before. Teeny, 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 there it is. Teeny tiny little drop. See? Yeah, teeny tiny little drop, okay? I promise you there is a drop of honky tonk red there. I promise. I'm going to mist, mist my brush, and then again, I'm just going to tap and bring that out, and it's just going to give it this beautiful hue. Never would have thought that, that those colors would have made that. Never would have thought. You look at the color chart and you go, hmm. And then you start playing with them and you go, ooh. So, all right, let me move this. Actually, we're gonna go down this. No, I am going to put in Lucky Lavender. And I'm gonna take the Lucky Lavender down. See how I just took my brush and I just, I didn't swipe it down, I just dabbed my brush on. I'm not going for a huge, like stark blend. I'm looking for very, very subtle, looking for subtlety. And I'm going to blend it up into the mixture of the farmhouse green and the honky tonk red. And then I'm just going to take it and pat going down the leg with that lucky lavender. Get under. Excuse me, you got to look at the top of my head for a second. I got to get underneath there. There you go. Nothing like stepping back from your piece after you're done blending and you go, I missed that whole section. So. All right, uh, Christina is going to go eat. Yeah, girl, I'll see you in the morning. And then I'm going to spritz this down here just a little bit because it kind of is not mixing the way I want it to. And so you just give it a little spritz. And then just work it right on down the leg. So like I said, it's a subtle blend. It's nothing that's going to stand out and be like, whoa, but it is a beautiful, subtle blend. And I just hit my, there you go. I'm going to move you over here to this one. Again, I'm going to kind of put aubergine on a little bit thick because that's going to be my blend color all the way through. It's going to be thicker than the other colors I'm adding in. And again, what's the key? Water going to make sure that that stays nice and moist. I'm going to clean off my, my brush again. I'm going to add a little bit of the farmhouse green. And then we're, like I said, best stain brush. And we're just going to work it in a circle. And in little pats all the way around. So if you're just joining, tell me where you're joining from. Tell me hi, tell me hi. Again, another little teeny tiny, teeny, teeny itty bitty of the honky tonk. Yep, almost missed, almost missed misting. Say that 10 times fast. And then we're going to do this here so it'll be cohesive with that side. 
And then now we're going to go down the leg with the Lucky Lavender. Like I said, I'm not adding a lot, just a very subtle, subtle blend. Now I'm going to mist my brush. More, more cowbell, more honky tonk. <gasps> more honky tonk. Oh, no. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take this and I'm going to start here and I'm going to go into this area and then I will blend it back down. My watch decided to start talking to me. It's always nice of it. I'm gonna bring it up into this and then bring it down. And it's a little bit, I'm just gonna add a drop, a couple of little drops because it is lighter than the other side just to get it more cohesive. Add a couple of drops of the aubergine in there. And then we're just, again, sorry guys, got to see the top of my head again. To get underneath there. There you go. And we are going down. You're, what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth, just tapping as I go and blending that lucky lavender in with the aubergine and again i got down here and it's a little less pliable than i wanted it so i'm going to hit it with some water and go down so what is it dana that said more more uh honky tonk so let me see here. Um, hmm. You know, let's see what, how much time we have. Okay, we've got some time. What I'll do is trying to see where else I wanted to, because the back is going to be done differently than this. And I'm also adding gilding to this. I'm adding some hearts and um, all the playing cards, the hearts, the spades, the diamonds, the clubs. Um, we're going to be using gilding waxes. We're going to be using um, best dang wax on this. I'm going to be using some of the gemstone mousse on this. I'm going to be using a glaze on this. So like I said, there is a lot of moving parts on this piece. Now, we go back up to the top here. Let me see if I can get you guys in better. And get you guys down. Because is that a better view so you can see the blend? Over here is where we did the farmhouse green. And this is where we did the honky tonk. And this is where we did the lavender across the bottom here and then blended it up into itself. So tell me what you think. And we're also gonna be doing some striping on this and we are going to be doing, um, I think after the, the, the plan is, is that once this is blended and dried, this is actually going to be turned into a checkerboard on the seat here. And so, that's what we're doing is that we're actually blending the checkerboard, which is the seat, the base of the checkerboard. So that is what we are working on now. Uh, I really like that. I did not think it would go that quick. I did not think that it would look that good on the first blend. Usually I do two blends. Um, like I said, I hop on a plane in a couple of hours and when I get back, it'll be nice and dry because I'll be gone for a week and I will see how it looks then. But more than likely, if it's like the way it is not right now, I won't blend it again because it looks really, really good, especially with the other things that are going to be on top of it and the layering that's going to happen with this. So I think I'm going to leave it this way. Let me get to your questions and comments. So let's see here. 
Love it. Can't wait to see y'all playing together. I'm all over the page. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, love. So, okay, that's there. Uh, what a whimsical chair. Yes, I'm going to be sharing it when it's done. Hey, grapevine. Certainly not a less is more inclination. No, this is definitely is more is going to be not enough for this, the person that this one's going to. And so it's going to be, uh, yeah, um, Christina said, you know, we are planning on coming down to Joe Cole Lake soon. We're working on that. Um, I will be on with Christina from Repurposeful next Friday night, this coming Friday night, actually. So what is that? Six days. I will be on with Christina from Repurposeful on her Friday night live for Dixie Bell. So I will be in Georgia. And then on Saturday night, we're doing our meet and greet. And then next Sunday, I'll be on a plane. So I wish I could show you all more, but it's done. I didn't think it would take this long. So actually, I thought it would take longer. I, I misspoke. Sorry about that stop reverse it so there you go but again the big thing of this is that blending is not anything to be afraid of it is so fun it is so um you can express so much through blending and don't be afraid to play with your colors i didn't think at first that the farmhouse green and the aubergine were going to go together and you can see this is the area here that the farmhouse and the aubergine were and this is the farmhouse and the honky tonk. And I knew that the honky tonk and the lucky lavender would blend no problem. I had reservations about the farmhouse green and the aubergine. And it was fabu. It's fabu. So play with your colors. Get them out. You don't have to do anything this big. Get a project board. Practice. Play with, play with your paints. It's fun to do this. It's fun to play with them and try different applications and different colors and you never know what color is going to come out and then what I do is I take a book and what I'll do is when I mix colors I will have a book off to the side and I will take a little dab of that paint and put it in the book and then I will say this is a blend of aubergine and farmhouse green this is a blend of aubergine and honky tonk and so if somebody comes back to me and they say well I kind of want that color now I know what colors to start with to start a 50 50 mix in small you know i just use little eyedroppers and mix it up so i'm not using a lot of paint to discover new colors but it is it's a fun way to do it so my loves i will be back with you in two weeks i am krista from litter to glitter i gotta go home and pack and like i said i gotta be at the airport at 4 a.m so much love to you guys i will see you soon and i hope that i helped somebody out with blending tonight much love to you guys bye